First at 10, only on Eyewitness News, funeral home shut down. We've exclusively learned that a Providence funeral home was told to immediately stop operations after state health inspectors found several bodies improperly stored. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner went searching for answers from police and health officials after we received the tip. He joins us now live from the Department of Health with the exclusive details. Mike Shannon, good evening. Health officials working to identify those bodies and determine next of kin and some rather interesting information embedded in these state records we found today. This is Panini Funeral Home at 28 Grove Street in Providence's Federal Hill neighborhood operating since 1916. Its most recent owner, Alfred Panini, died Monday in New Hampshire. On Friday, the medical examiner removed six bodies and the cremation remains of two others from his business. Neighbors tell Eyewitness News it was from this garage-like structure. Now we know why, via documents obtained by Eyewitness News. In them, health officials say they received word from a funeral home visitor that bodies were not stored properly. Some were unidentified, according to the document, and the ME had to remove the remains for refrigeration. As a result, the funeral home is ordered to cease operations. But this isn't the first time the business has come under state scrutiny. According to past documents Eyewitness News uncovered, a health department hearing officer suspended Alfred Panini's license to perform funeral services and embalming for two years back in 2007. In a written decision, it was alleged Panini did not perform timely burial services for a deceased in 2006, that he allowed an unlicensed person to conduct funeral services for another deceased the same year, and that he failed to report deaths in a timely manner to the state. In fact, the department found 60% of Panini's death records for 2006 were filed beyond the time allowed by state law. And we found even more records today detailing similar allegations against Panini and his associates. We went to the funeral home, of course. We found the doors locked there, and a woman on the upper level of the building expressed no interest in speaking with us. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pletter, Eyewitness News.